Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Final Fantasy III. Okay, I've uh, changed classes. Ald is back to being a knight, Crow is back to being a karateka, and Ellie has been uh, left as a mystic knight. Um, I did swap magics between uh, Crow and Ellie, so Crow just has all the black magic just sitting in his uh, magical inventory, and Ellie is here with uh, just the basic mystic knight white magic. Um, Ald still has all of his, but, um, that's mostly the, uh, the summon spells. Um, what else? Oh, uh, yes. So, equipment-wise, Ald has, uh, two defenders, the diamond helmet, reflect mail, and the protect ring. Uh, Crow has nothing equipped on his, uh, um, hands. Uh, I checked equipping the two claws, and uh, they actually reduce his attack power. He also has the chakra, the black belt, and the power ring. I've got the power ring equipped rather than the protect ring, because that increases his attack power. Doesn't have as great defense, but uh, that's fine. It's kind of interesting how you really have not gotten any better uh, armor for him throughout the entire game. I mean, ever since you got the uh, Karateka, there's been no new equipment for it. I kind of get the feeling that they don't expect you to have u continue using him, but he still does a good amount of damage, in part because he attacks a lot. And, of course, Ellie has all the Genji equipment and the Kikus. Technically, Ellie should have the better attack power, but it's still going to be Ald, despite... I mean, uh, Ald is still going to be doing more damage despite the lowered attack power. Not entirely sure why. Um, 10 attacks versus 10 attacks. Both have a 99% hit ratio. Although I think that that's kind of misleading. Um, partly because um, I believe the uh, hit ratio is your hit percentage minus uh, the enemy's evasion. And I think the, despite the hit ratio showing 99, I think it can go higher. Uh, but I'm not positive on that. Um, also, skill 46. Skill 40. Yeah, see, he has uh, 12 attacks at 168, so he can still do a good amount of damage. And Ellie is only skill 12. Anyway, let's head inside the Ancient's Labyrinth. Oh, I also misspoke in the last episode. I said you could get here with the uh, Nautilus. I said that after I used the power of the invincibility to jump over the mountains. Completely slipped my mind that I did that. Seconds earlier. Oh, well. The Earth Crystal? It's the Earth Crystal! Under order of Zandi, I shall bury you in the darkness! What?! Titan? You, you don't look like the Titan that we summon. Actually, let's go ahead and build up with uh, Crow. Let's see how that goes. And you know, I am going to haste up Crow first. I am curious what that would do. Oh boy, and he starts off with a flare. 600 damage. All gets 8 hits in for uh, about 800 damage. Gonna go with another haste on all. Wow, 2600 damage from Crow. Hasted and built up. I may not actually need to, um. heal up here. I mean, basically, everyone can take another, uh, round of, uh, flare. 17 hits. And down he goes. Light Warriors, one called Zendi is abusing my power to plunge the world into darkness. Also, you noticed how that uh, Titan didn't die with the normal boss uh, death animation? Uh, yeah, something tells me that we may be encountering him again later as a normal enemy. Or... 
that sprite. Take the power which lies within me and rid this world of the Dark Cloud. But people like that game. Received jobs from the Crystal of Earth. Yay, new jobs! The Silk's Tower was built by concentrating the power of light. Sandy is try trying to summon the Dark Cloud there using our power. Light Warriors, go to the Silk's Tower and stop the Demon King Zandi. Well, that's a kind of a new name for him. Okay, so... We kind of need to do a little bit of healing first. Okay. Um, let's see what jobs we picked up. We picked up the Warlock, the Shaman, and the Summoner. So we got three magic, uh, magic classes, and, uh, they're basically advanced versions of the previous ones. We, the, uh, the Warlock is an advanced, uh, Black Wizard. The, uh, the Shaman is an advanced White Wizard, and the Summoner is an advanced Conjurer. Uh, so whereas the Conjurer uses, um, a, a random, uh, one of two abilities on the Summons, the Summoner uses the, essentially, the standard expected, uh, s uh, magic types for, um, the summoning magic. Uh, and I'm trying to think of the best way to show off that class. Alright, well, we can always exit out of here. Um, the Labyrinth is long and fairly tough, but I think we will play around with our uh, classes a little bit. Um... For one thing, I think that I will make Ellie into a Warlock. Actually, I should probably start by making her into a... Uh, a Summoner. Just so that I can use all of those spells. Uh, first of all... actually going to remove Sight and Wash, because I'm never going to use those even if I put Ald into a class I can cast Magic. So we'll change into the Summoner class, and that is the Summoner with the little horn, and... A very, very big robe. I'll need to uh, pick up new stuff out of our uh, inventory. Uh, although, I can definitely... Okay, and Min will be a white wizard no longer. She will be a shaman. She's got little kitty ears on her robe. Aw, oh, so cute. And Spirit went from, like, 44 up to 55. Pretty darn good. Also, magic-wise... Um, I did cast a few spells, but you can see that A, we have 8th level spells now, even though we don't actually have any of them. Um, but we have substantially more of every single level of magic prior. 
with these classes, you never need to worry about spell points, except at a few of the high levels and late in the game when you're trying to just get through all of the, uh, the bosses in a row kind of thing. It's pretty awesome. Um, I should also, you know, go here. So not quite as many, and in fact, we don't have the 8th level spells yet, uh, so we cannot cast Bahamut. Um, but, uh, still, it's not too shabby. Uh, I'm gonna item out all of these. That I can at least. And I think the accuracy with their spells is a bit higher as well. Uh, I'm gonna go sell some of these spells before we, uh, really jump into it. Alright, um... Yeah, I don't need... Yeah, I'll just sell one of each of those. Uh, the rest I'll keep. That's just the stuff that I needed to sell. Uh, let's go ahead and equip Min. White robe is still uh, best. Actually, that's right. Uh, that was without the, uh, the white robe equipped. So, her spirit is up to 60 now. It's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, but she is only mag uh, skill level 1, so we'll want to get that up pretty f uh, pretty fa uh, high quickly. Whatever. Excuse me. Um... Alright, let's see. First of all, go ahead and give things... You know what? I think I may actually make... Crow back into a Mystic Knight, because I think we are going to need the Mystic Knight's abilities. Um, we'll wait until we get the Hellclaw and see how that is, and then decide. All right, um, let's actually take that Dragon Claw back again. Take all of those. Ah, oh, the Conjurer cannot, I mean, the Summoner cannot wear a Scholar hat. Both wear the feather hat. Can wear the black robe. Not sure which uh, rings are going to be best. We get Ramu, Shiva, Chocobo, I believe that's it. Alright. I may actually want to unequip the Protect Ring ring from Ald, because I think I only have the two. Yeah, let me, uh... Let me grab a different gauntlet. So, 61 down to... 58. That's okay. I wonder if the feather hat would be better for Min. Does the Scholar Hat actually do anything? Not really. So, 54... 56. Okay, so the Feather Hat is better.
Alright, yeah, I need to uh, get those spells. Honor. There we go. Okay. Go ahead and rest, get all of our uh, spell slots back up. Alright, let's head into the tower. It's kind of amazing how long the knight is actually an effective class in this game. Alright, so there's nothing else in there. We've got uh, a treasure chest if we go this way-ish. Well, technically, uh, loops around this room the same way. Greater Demon. Ow. All right, well, we can uh, go ahead and try the Chocobo. We don't have any level 7 magic yet. Let's go with an arrow, though. Hmm, 864, yeah. Might be better to uh, change him into a Mystic Knight. 600 damage from an arrow, a level 1 arrow, is pretty awesome. Another greater demon. We did not get our chocobo off. I'm disappointed. Um, all right, let's cast a cure on someone who, uh, I guess, a crow. Nice critical. Chocobo. It was pink. He could summon. Dorga, is that you? I mean, Un. That was Un, not Dorga. My bad. Let's go with Shiva. Yeah, Un clone. I was not expecting to see them as normal enemies. I'm not sure if it has the exact same stats or not. Probably not. Ooh, I like that animation. Well, that didn't work. Okay, definitely does not have the same stats. So it's not exactly a clone. And we get an elixir to start off with. So this is actually a fairly long and complex uh, dungeon. Got another greater demon. Let's go with Ramu. Let's go with Arrow. The greater demon. Nine hundred forty two is pretty good. Alright, so this is a very complex uh, dungeon, it really is. Um, Thanatos! Hey, it's another headless uh, female Dulahan. And of course the, uh, the, the horse is also headless. Well, let's see if it's undead. We'll cast Ifrit. I'm not going to see if it's undead by casting a uh, healing spell on it. So this is a case where um, grinding for skill points might be worthwhile to get uh, your two new mages up to... Um... That was pretty impressive. 1200 damage from Hellfire. Uh, grinding up for uh, skill points might be worthwhile. I mean, not uh, skill levels, not skill points. I got a shield. I did not even pay attention to that. Uh, a crystal shield. Yeah, I don't really care. Let's 
stick with the chocobos, though. From the conjurer, the uh, or the the summoner, the uh, chocobo is actually slightly decent. <laughs> Chocobo kick! Now, there is actually one reason not to uh, spend time grinding up skill levels here, and that's actually because we don't don't have the best uh, um, casting class yet. Oddly enough. And these guys hit hard. I like my little chocobo. Chocobos, do it for the kicks, man. Uh, I do believe that the uh, chocobo is a non-elemental magic, so I don't think either of your... Uh, any of your rods would uh, make any difference. I could try to kill these guys a little bit faster. 